All right, back here on Luke here. And as you can see in front of you, today we've got out the old PC Engine core system. And what I thought we could do today is something that I've been thinking about for quite some time. And today I just kind of came up with the ideas and all the different parts that I need for it. And that is with this system here, if we take a look at it, we notice uh, up front with the on off switch, and this is something that's been this way for you know years ever since it was made, just a piece of red tape on this green plastic switch. And now with this system here, it's such a cool system. It just seems like it could have just a little bit more flair to it to make it stand out. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to try and make a light for this on off switch here to try and snazz it up just a little bit. So what my idea is, we're going to remove this section here, remove this tape, we're going to make uh, or fabricate another section here that's clear, and then we're going to put a light behind it, and that way it should shine through. Well, the first thing I'm going to do here is uh, I'm going to take all the screws out of this thing and uh, remove the plastic on off switch, and we'll get on that, and I'll be back in a little bit. So, see you in a few minutes. Okay, so as you can see here, I've got the system apart and I've got the on-off switch here taken out. Now, once again, this is just a solid piece of plastic. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out this square here on the side, just using a regular uh, knife or if I can find one, just a really thin saw blade. And we'll cut this out here and we'll leave kind of a square shape uh, spot where we can put a piece of clear plastic and that way we can make our original uh, on-off switch. So the next thing I'm going to do here is I'm just going to cut out this square and uh, I'll be back in a few minutes. So see you guys soon. So as you can see here, what I've done is I've taken and cut the square piece out. Now we have a square shape that is left. And the next thing we're going to do with this is I have some plastic here. Now this is from a, I believe it's a compact flash uh, just case, but it's a really good thickness and it's pretty durable. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark out uh, using this square piece here. I'm going to mark out the same shape and uh, I'm going to try and cut it as close as I can. And once I cut that, out. I'm going to try and fit this in here, maybe using a little bit of some sandpaper or using a file to fi uh, file it down into shape and hopefully I'll have the uh, piece that I need to make this complete here. So the next thing to do is just cut this piece out here and uh, put that in there and see if we can get it to fit in. So I'll get on that and be back in a few minutes. Okay, so as you can see here, I have the piece of plastic and I've cut this out and filed this down. This is roughly the same shape as this one is and uh, it, you know, it looks almost exact on right there. And what I've done here, just to give myself a little bit of an idea on which way this is going to go, I put a little bit of a rounded point on the bottom there. That way it'll make it easier to put into my, uh, my um, switch here. And... So make sure I put the rounded side around here. And it'll look like so. Uh, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take some glue and I'm going to glue this in place, let the glue dry. And once the glue dries, then over the top here, what we're going to do is using some red electrical tape, we're going to cut out a piece of uh, a square piece here that'll fit over the window. And uh, it'll look pretty much like this does. And uh, from the outside, you won't be able to tell very much. We could even use uh, this piece, I suppose, here to uh, go back over it again, but we might just use a piece of red electrical tape just to uh, kind of, I, I suppose, just to make sure that it'll stick on there because uh, reusing this one here might not be good enough. But once we get that all glued back in here, we'll put the tape on and the next thing we'll do is we'll start looking at the PCB for a place to wire our light. So I'll get on that and I'll be back in a little bit. All right, so as you can see here, what we have is the bottom all opened up, and what we're gonna do is we're going to tap our ground here, and up under here on the other side of our switch, on this left post here, it's gonna be kind of hard to see, uh, this post right here, this is uh, outputting uh, about 10 volts when it's on, and it can fluctuate, it can be a little bit less, 10 to, nine volts or so. So what we're going to do is tap our power source off of that and uh, that way we'll get our power for our light. Uh, what I'm going to do next here is I think I'm going to drill a small hole. This is just grounding all the way around here so I'm going to drill a small hole so I can put a wire through the bottom here 
and uh, attach it there. Maybe I'll get a couple of holes so I can attach the ground wire down here as well. But that's what I'm going to do next. I'm just going to make a little pilot hole and I'll be back in a little bit. Alright, so as you can see here, what I've done is up on the top uh, corner here near the switch, you can see there's a small pilot hole, and that's going to be to run our power, and we'll use this top part here or uh, somewhere around the casing for our ground, and we should be all set. So, just drilled that through there, there's nothing else on the other side, and oh, to show you guys here what the switch came out like, here's the switch. So, as you can see here, um, got the tape on that side, and this is our clear plastic. It might not look like it, but it actually is clear plastic on that side. And we got that glued into place. And then we're going to use our red light bulb uh, behind that, and uh, that should shine out really nicely. So what I'm going to do is uh, get this all situated in here. We'll glue our light behind here, run a couple of wires down here, and get it all situated in, and we'll be all ready to go. So I'm going to get on that, and I'll be back in a little bit. See you guys soon. Okay, so as you can see here, what I've done is I've hot glued the LED in place. As you can see, the plastic piece is kind of broken off on the bottom there, but not too much of a problem. I've got the LED in place here, and I have a 330 ohm resistor connected to the positive line on the LED. And this is my negative wire right here. But from the other side, it looks just about stock. So when that gets all put together here, it's going to shine out really nicely. So the last thing I have to do here is just hook these wires up, solder them in place, and we should be ready to go. So I'll be back in a little bit. Okay, so as you can see here, I've got my positive wire run through the circuit board, and that is mounted on the bottom part here. I'll try and flip it over to show you guys. Uh, just lift this corner up here, and you guys should be able to see it right there. That's where I have it mounted. And then on the other side, I wound up using the negative wire and running it right to the casing here for the switch. So it's just mounted right here to that. So the last thing to do here is to get this all pushed back on here and then uh, put back together and it should work out all right. So as you can see, uh, just moving it left or right, if I can do this with one hand. Uh, like so. I have enough slack on here to uh, make sure that this isn't going to kind of rip out. And since it's not going to be going back and forth, back and forth really, really quickly, I don't have to worry about the wire uh, potentially wearing out. There could have been another place where I could tap this off of, but what I decided to do is just uh, run it under the board here and we'll give it a shot and see how it goes, but it should be okay. But I'm going to get on putting this thing back together and I'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay, so as you can see here, we've got the PC engine all put back together. And if you take a look at this switch here, when we flip it on, it kind of looks like the old stock standard original uh, switch. But what we're going to do is put some power to this guy here, and we should be able to see a little bit of a difference. So let's plug this in and test some of that. Get that all the way on there, so voila, we've got uh, a power light now. And uh, through the camera, it's going to come out a little bit, uh, probably pinkish, but in uh, person here, it's actually red. So it's just something that I wanted to do. I've been wanting to do this for quite some time, just trying to think about how I could do it to make the machine look as stock as possible, but have that just small little extra flair that it should have had when it was first produced. But, uh, you know, cutting costs and things like that, it was probably one of the main reasons why they never put it in there. But if they would have put it in there, this is probably what it would have looked like. So <laughs> just uh, creativity at its best, I suppose. And uh, yeah, nonetheless, just want to share with you guys this little adventure here on putting a power light or an LED here in the old PC Engine Core Graphics. So yeah, that's about all for me for right now. Like always, I'll put up another video here soon. So thanks for watching. You lights off. Lights up. <laughs> Phew. Da -da -da -da. Good PC engine. Okay, so just for a little ending thing, I thought we could plug this in here and show you guys it in action and uh, let you see what it looks like with this thing going. So we'll turn the old TV on here. It's a little bit staticky because it's just going through RF. No major changes through that, but turn this guy on.
And there's our light. And voila! Working like a charm. So, just start this thing up here. But uh, yeah, the game plays just as it did before. The only difference is it's got a little red light. But this is going to be impossible to play with one hand. Wee! <laughs> but yeah, that is the end of this video. I think I've probably said that a couple of times, but um, yeah, I'll see what I can do in the future here about conjuring up some more crazy ideas. But that is all for me. Thanks again, guys. See ya.